Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? I am so out of breath because I just ran up and down the stairs bringing all the stuff up here to make the video. I brought the camera and then I brought Boo Radley, <laughs> got him on the bed, and I brought all these boxes because I wanted to do an unboxing for you guys. Well, I wanted to do the unboxing for me, but this stuff has been sitting um, in the kitchen for the last day or two. And um, so I, some of the things came while I was on vacation and um, other things came. Oh my God, I forgot. Hold on just a second. Hold on, I gotta get one more thing. Are you ready? Okay, just don't mind me and Whitney over here. Okay, hold on just a second. I forgot one more package I had to get. Okay, so anyway, woo! I'm out of breath. Are you guys ever so out of breath? Okay. So anyway, I've been running up and downstairs. I've been uploading my other video. Fed Boo Radley. I've been talking to my neighbors outside. We have had such a day today. So anyway, like I said, I had ordered some things um, while I was on vacation. And they came, some of them came while I was on vacation. Some of them, well, two of the things that I'm going to show you are things that um, I already talked about in a previous video because there were things that I had to return because they didn't fit. So we're going to un... Um, unbox or unopen or unopen we're gonna open the packages i cannot speak today okay <sighs> relax peter relax okay so two things i want to do first of all i want to um unopen <laughs> i can't speak first of all i want to i want to open some of these packages that i've gotten because these are some of the things that i ordered while i was gone and some things that i returned so i want to see if they're better sizes now um, and i'll tell you about that whole process um, because on my vlog, um, for those of you that, did, well, I did a video over here too, talking about how I lost my iPad and that I went out and I got a new iPad. Um, and somebody commented on my vlog where, uh, I was staying in an Airbnb with a refrigerator that didn't work. And we went to Walmart and ate at In-N-Out Burger and Del Taco that apparently I was turning into a rich person vlog. So, since I'm a rich person vlog now, I thought that I would do um, an unboxing. <laughs> not, un not unlike the 50 other unboxings or 60 other unboxings that I've done on this channel. Because now I'm a rich person vlog. So anyway. Um, okay, let's get into this. Let me show you all of these packages, first of all, that I have. Ah! They're all falling over the place. How can I hold this up to get kind of a thumbnail going on here? I have like how I want it to look, and then I have like how I know it's not gonna look. Okay, so hold on a second. Ah! So there's my thumbnail. Okay, the first thing I want to say is that whew, yesterday was my first full day back here. So every morning when I get up, and I know you're not supposed to do this with weight loss and things like that, but I always weigh myself. I, I know you're not supposed to weigh yourself every day. People say weigh yourself once a week, weigh yourself once a month. All that kind of stuff. I've had professionals tell me that. I've had many people in the comments tell me that. Whatever. I weigh myself every day. I just do. It's just something I do when I wake up in the morning. I brush my teeth and I wash my face. And when I'm getting ready for the day, I weigh myself just to kind of gauge myself and where I'm at, right? And <clears throat> I would say for like the last two months, maybe last two and a half months, I kind of plateaued. Um, I lost a lot of weight after the pancreatitis, which was good because, I mean, I would prefer not to have lost it that way. But my doctors were really happy because they want me to be at about 180 is the weight that they want me to be. But Radley, what are you doing over there? He said, well, I'm just adventuring. You want to come back on the bed? Come here, sweetie. Um, so they would like me to be about 180. Come here, honey. Oh, there he is. You want to get in the video? He said, I want to be in the video. Why is the video not about me? He said, every video is supposed to be about me. Did you just eat your dinner? I can smell that dinner. He said, yes, and it was delicious. So my doctors really would prefer if I was between like 170 and 180, 180 at the highest. And I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, you've lost so much weight already and blah, 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 which I appreciate. Thank you. Um, I still have a, a bit of a gut right here. Not as bad as it was. I think at my, I don't even remember. At my height, I was over like 260. So anyway, um, yesterday I got on the scale and I weighed myself. And right before I left, I was like, 205 or 206 or something like that. I can't remember, but it was like 205.8 or 206.8 or something like that. And yesterday I weighed myself and I was like 202.4. I was the lowest that I have been. I mean, I, I've kind of been around the lowest that I've been in like 11, 12 years. And um, 
well, like 11 years because I started gaining weight after our wedding. And that year I put on a lot of weight after our wedding. And um, so I was like, oh my God, I texted my husband. I was like, I cannot believe I've lost like four pounds in this vacation. Which in all honesty, I wasn't eating anything super healthy out there. I mean, I was eating like chips and sour cream and it wasn't fat-free sour cream. I was eating like chips and sour cream and, and queso and salsa and ice cream cones and, you know, fast food and things like that. So it wasn't like I was eating super healthy. I don't really know why. I mean, maybe it was because I was more active. I was in the pool. We were walking around a lot, things like that. But I lost four pounds. I couldn't believe it. Well, last night I had ordered Piata and had Piata waiting for me the night that I came home and I, um, and Alex had like put it in the fridge for me and had it all in the fridge for me and everything like that. And so anyway, I didn't eat it the night that I got home because I wasn't super hungry. And so last night we were watching Real Housewives of Atlanta. We got caught up on two episodes and I ate um, the pasta, most of the pasta. I left a little bit and like more than half of the sandwich of the Piata. And um, I was like, uh, like totally full, right? Well, I woke up today and I went to bed very early last night and stuff like that. I went to bed about 11.30, which is early for me. And I woke up today and I was like under 201 pounds, which like I'm so close. Like my doctors really want me under 200 pounds. And I was like, and I haven't like been doing anything like working out or eating super healthy or anything. And I was like, okay, come September, that this was my goal coming in September because I've talked about this over here. Like I'm really going to make an, an initiative to start eating healthier and walking and things like that. I've been putting this off for so long. I keep on putting it off, whatever, right? So September I'm going to do it. It's going to be a little cooler outside to walk and things like that. Although today it's very cool outside. It's like 66, 70 degrees. It was 66 when I got up and now I think it's like 70. So anyway, I woke up and I was like, oh my God, I'm like 200 and like 0.4 pounds. I was like, I cannot believe that I have lost more weight. Like, I can't believe it. So anyway, so I just want to share that with you guys because I'm very excited about it. And um, even though I'm not doing anything to lose the weight, really, I mean, I'm not eating. Like, the thing is, I noticed on this trip, like, I still ate M&Ms and things like that. But before, when I would go on trips, and I, I kind of noticed this about Mexico, too. Like, I would eat so much throughout the day, you know? And I, I just don't do that anymore. I really don't. And to some degree, I kind of eat per, like, an intermittent fasting kind of diet. Like, I eat once a day, and I kind of eat what I want to eat during that, in, that one period of time. And then, like, I don't really eat any more than that. There was a period where I was like, you know, I might, like, eat, like, an ice cream cone while I'm watching a show or whatever, but that's still kind of like in that period of time. And I'm not like doing intermittent fasting, so I don't need a bunch of like lectures and stuff like that in the comment section below. But like, it's kind of similar to that, right? And I noticed on this trip, like I just really didn't snack a whole lot. I didn't, I mean, if I was hungry, I ate. And that's like what I really like, I would say is my diet today or my lifestyle is that I eat when I'm hungry. And I remember years and years and years ago hearing the saying that like, um, uh, eat to live, not live to eat. And there was such a long period of my life where I was living to eat, you know, that I just couldn't wait till my next meal. I couldn't wait till the next snack. I would think about it all the time and stuff like that. I don't do that anymore, you know? Like, if I'm hungry, I eat. And then as I'm eating, when I get full, I stop eating. Like, I don't overeat, and I was doing that for a while. Just up until recently, I was, you know, eating until, like, past the point of being full, and I don't do that anymore. And that's really, really helped me a lot. Um, and I also, like, notice that I don't feel like, uh, sometimes, every once in a while, I do feel this way, but, like, where I feel, like, overly full. But I don't really feel that way so much anymore. So, that's the first thing I wanted to share with you guys. It's, like, a little life update. Because I'm doing my, of course, I do my daily vlog, but I'm also kind of, like, trying to share some things over here and be more active on this channel because I love this channel so much. And they're kind of, like, more, like, mini vlogs and stuff like that. All right. So, this first package that I got, this is from Buffalo Jeans. I was so proud of myself, and I know this is such a corny moment to be proud of, but I do not, I don't love, I do, I do not, I love donuts, but I do not. I do not love to return things, okay, to stores or online or anything. I just don't love to return things. I think it's a hassle. And, um, but I had ordered these, these jeans. The jeans and the pants from Birdwell both came to like $200, and I think the jeans were like $240 or something. I was like, I am not wasting four to $500 on pants that I cannot wear because they're too big. And I did a whole video where I showed them on here, and they were all, when I tried them on, they were all too big. They, none of them fit me. Not the pants, the pants from Birdwell, the corduroy pants were so like baggy, there was no way. And so I was like, okay, Caroline was coming to pick me up. I think it was like this Wednesday, like last 
two Wednesdays ago or something. And so it was two Wednesdays ago. The return on this was like instantaneous. It actually, when did she come to pick me up? It might've been last Monday. I don't remember when I did it. I talked about it on my vlog, but I boxed everything up. I got the, printed off the return labels. I duct taped them to the box. I was so proud of myself. I returned them, took them to the post office box. So this is my, um, I hope these, I hope I have two bags over there. So I hope this is the right bag of the jeans. I think this is that I reordered. Hold on a second. And it was, a, yep, they are. And it was a really easy return process. So here are, I got 34 30s instead. 30 length, 30, oh, these look perfect. They look perfect. Oh my God. I cannot believe that I am in a 34 waist. I mean, like, this is unbelievable to me, you guys. I have not been in a 34 waist since literally the year that we got married, which was 2011. Like, this is like crazy to me. This is absolutely crazy to me. I cannot believe this. So here are the black ones that I got. And they are the slim, they're buffalo jeans, slim ash. And slim, and the slim ash are the ones that have the, the I don't know if you can see this, but the, the waist, it's like flexible. Um, so I got these black pair that are kind of like, I don't know if you can see them, but they're kind of uh, like faded a little bit. And I got 30 length. I just want to check and make sure that everything I ordered came back exactly how I wanted. These are all for fall. All these pants that I'm showing you are for fall. So then I have, yep, 34, 30. I got just a pair of faded jeans, faded blue jeans. So I like that with like a good concert t-shirt and something. Okay. These look a little baggy actually. This is interesting, but they're 34s. These are cute jeans. Look, they have little rips on the knees and stuff like that. Oh my God, I am so excited. Now, I would do try these on and maybe if you guys if you guys want a video of me showing you them try with them on, I will do that. But I just kind of wanted to do an unboxing today of my new box, my new products. So, got that. Why did I think I ordered four pairs of jeans? Did I just order three pairs of jeans? I guess I just ordered three pairs. Oh yeah, three jeans and two pairs of pants. And then these are the navy, the dark navy blue ones, which are like the oh, they're so soft. These are like my favorite kind of jeans. Do you see these still look baggy too? And these are 34s. So these will definitely fit. Oh, I'm so excited about that. And these are like navy, dark navy blue. I like these to wear with like a dress shirt and like a jacket or something like that. Perfect. Okay, well, since we started with that. Let's go to the Birdwell pants. Boo Radley is sleeping over here on his dad's pillow right now. Don't mind him. He's the movie star of the day. Boo Radley, you're the movie star, aren't you? He said, well, of course I'm the movie star. Okay, so. Oh, you know what? I don't have anything to open these with. Oh, well. Let's tear open the box. Now, these are the pants that were like super, super baggy. My fear is, because I went from extra large to large, that they're gonna be super small. They're so cute. I want them to fit so bad. Aren't these so cute? They're kind of like, if you can see, like the corduroy is like really big. The pants are like, okay, what are the size on them? Does it say large? I'm kind of like afraid to look. They're large. <gasps> I mean, I'm gonna stand up and see what they look like lengthwise. They're perfect length. Oh my God, they're gonna hit the top of my clogs. They're gonna look so cute. Look at this. Are these not gonna be so cute with these Birkenstock sandals? And these Birkenstock loafers, are they not going to be so cute? Oh my God. Perfect. Boo Radley. Dad has all the pants he's going to need for fall. Can you believe it? Here, we'll save these shoes with the navy blue ones. Oh, they gave me a little sticker. Surfer sticker. Birdwell, okay, these are, oh, they're large too. Oh my God, I love these. Look at these. Aren't those so cute? Tell me these will not look so cute with these in the fall. 
I'm really embarrassed to say this because <laughs> do you ever change your opinions about things? Like I'll go out and get a pair of Crocs because I hate Crocs because I think they're, I know everybody's like, they're so comfortable, blah, blah, blah. All my friends are like, I can't believe you don't like Crocs. Crocs, are, I don't think Crocs are comfortable and I don't think they're cute at all. Um, but I'll probably change my opinion and end up getting a pair. I had a pair and I soaked them in the, the woods. But anyway, um, I also cannot stand sandals with socks, but I have a feeling I'm probably going to change my opinion. Okay. So then the last thing is the thing I'm most excited about. So I'll share that with you guys later. But I sleep every night with a fan. Okay. I've shared this story for years and years and years. My uncle Dave, my cousins, Caroline's dad, he used to take naps with a fan every day that, or every time we would go over there, he'd always be like, I'm taking my nap and he'd take a nap with a fan. Also, I would stay with my Aunt Janie and Uncle Marv in Fort Wayne, Indiana on their farm in the summers and they didn't have centralized air. And so in their windows, they would have like the air conditioning units and then on the floor, they would have like these box fans, I think, if I remember. I mean, this was when I was really young. This was like, my grandfather died when I was five and so, five or six, and so I would go up and stay there in the summers. That was before my parents got separated, so they got, so that it would have been between like four and, and seven, something like that, I don't know the exact years, but I used to go up there and stay with them. In the summers on their farm, um, they had a steer farm, and they also raised soy, and so I would stay there on the farm with them for like two weeks, and I loved it. Well, because they had fans everywhere in their house, and I would sleep with a fan every night, I got so used to sleeping with a fan, and I love the sound of it, so I still sleep, you can see over here, with a fan, there's my fan over there on the couch. So when I was in Arizona, I bought this box fan, which I ended up giving to Mel, because it was such a nice fan. Um, I was gonna leave it at the Airbnb, because I didn't have a fan there, but I was like, no, I'm gonna give it to Mel, because I want somebody to really enjoy this. So anyway, the brand of the fan that I had out there that I got, which at Walmart, okay, they had all these boxes of fans lined up everywhere and they had it mismarked. It wasn't in the wrong place because they had a bunch of the same fans in one place, but it said that they were $25 and that's why I got it. I was like, oh, this is a really a wind tunnel fan for $25, but it was ended up being $47. But I have to tell you, I slept so fantastically out there with the exception of having a hard time falling asleep a couple nights that, um, but still the fan was so fantastic. I love the fan. So I was like, I'm buying this fan when I come back to Indianapolis. So I got on Amazon at the airport and I bought this. Now, the one I had out there was plastic. This one is metal because I wanted a metal fan. And it's the brand is Lasko, L-A-S-K-O. And this is the, the ultra velo high velocity wall mount. You can mount it on the wall as well, but I'm not going to because you can see you have it here and I'll put it up there. But anyway, converts easily from wall to floor use. Three powerful speeds, rubber pads, protect surfaces, and then you can also, it says front mounted control for added convenience, pivots to direct airflow. And that's exactly what I have right now, but I wanted one that was higher, and that was higher like intensity, because the, the one that I bought over there is one that I actually saw at the casino, and the brand, and it was, but this is like a personal use one. The one that they had at the casino was to like clean the floor because somebody had like, there was a leak on the floor. And so I got online and I bought the, this like commercial fan, but it was for personal use. And so this one is supposed to be even higher performance than that. So I'm real excited about that. Okay, the last thing I bought now, um, I bought, here we go with the rich person's vlog thing again. Um, I, I talked to my vlog a while ago, but I wanted some like nice bags, some uh, like, you know, nice, cause I like messenger bags and stuff like that. And so I did, I bought a couple nice messenger bags. I bought a Louis Vuitton messenger bag, which I use. It's like dressier, it's black. I use it sometimes. And um, I bought my husband one. Um, I bought him a Fendi one. He bought a Fendi one in Spain. And we've bought each other bags and stuff from here and there and whatever. But I'm kind of like, so, and then I bought a Gucci one for my 50th birthday last year. And I've used that Gucci one like literally every single day. It's the one that has the big G's on it. It has a green and uh, red strap on it. And I have to tell you, um, I mean, if we're going to talk about high-end products, let me just say, I love Louis Vuitton stuff, but for the price that you pay, like the Gucci stuff I think holds the test of time much better, and it was literally a third of the price. And I have used that bag every single day. So anyway, we were coming back from Mexico, and I saw this girl that had this messenger bag on, and it was a North Face messenger bag. And I was like, I want a messenger bag that I can use like every single day. And my friend Tanya, she was like, if I had a Gucci, Gucci messenger bag, I'd wear it every day. I don't know why you don't want to just use it every day. I was like, because I want to kind of like keep it nice and stuff like that, you know, whatever. I just want something that I can like throw down on the floor, like wherever I'm at, like if I'm at a, you know, uh, restaurant or whatever. I don't have to worry about it. So 
I saw this gal that had this North Face messenger bag. And I'm just being honest. Judge me for buying nice bags or whatever. I don't really care. I'm glad that I bought them. I'm going to keep them forever, you know. And um, they were something that I wanted. So, anyway, I <clears throat> um, saw this person, this gal that had this uh, North Face messenger bag when we were flying back from Mexico when we were in Cancun. And I was like, oh my God, that's exactly what I'm talking about, right? And I looked everywhere online and I couldn't find the exact one that she had. But then when I was flying out to Arizona, I was like looking online on Amazon that morning and stuff. And I found this messenger bag from North Face. It's for men or women. It's unisex. And they had it in like different prints, which I'm not a big print person. But then they had it like in black, gray, and like this mustard yellow. So I have so many things that are black and gray and white. And I'm trying, well, not so much white, but I have my backpack is white. I'm trying to steer away from black and gray because I typically always go to black and gray. So I ended up getting this messenger bag in mustard yellow because I thought it'd be kind of fun to have a color. Now I'm going to either, I, you'll know right away because I'm either going to be really disappointed like this is not anything that I'm going to use or I'm going to be real excited like oh my god this is perfect right? And I think I'm going to be real excited. So here is the messenger bag. It was I think $38. Let me see if I if it had, where did I put my glasses? Oh there they are. Hold on a second. Oh it was $40. I got it on Amazon. This is what it looks like. And it has a little, I love when it has a front pocket that you can put your phone and stuff or AirPods in there like that. Or if you're like traveling, you can put your like passport in there like when you're going through a TSA and stuff like that to make it real easy. Okay. Now, I love an inside pocket. Well, I like this pocket, but like inside, once you get in there, I love if it has an inside pocket. So it probably won't. <gasps> oh my God, it has an inside pocket. It has an inside pocket. I'm so excited. I love an inside pocket to kind of stuff stuff down inside. And this is what it looks like. Now let me address this. Adju ugh, let me adjust the straps because this is what it looks like right now. To see if it will. I like it as long as it'll possibly go. Oh my god, you guys, this is perfect. Oh my god, and it's like the nylon backpack material. And it's padded on the back. This is so perfect. No affiliate links. I'm sorry. <laughs> but this is fantastic. Oh my God. I love this. This would make a great purse too. Like my mom loved backpacks and messenger bags more than she liked purses. This, she would have loved this. She actually would have liked, they have cute prints. She would have liked some of the ones that have prints on it. So does anybody know what this is for? Is this to hang? I've never known what this is for on backpacks and stuff. Can somebody let me know in the comment section below? I could probably look this up. That little hook right there. Does anybody know what that's for? So cute though. Anyway, there is my... Anyway. Anyway. And I will be telling you this since this is a rich person's vlog. Every one of my reading glasses has scratches right here now because I picked them up from here. So I'm going to have to buy, I think, two new pairs of Caddis reading glasses because these are my favorite pairs of reading glasses. I got the ones from Amazon and they're too strong for my eyes. And I've been testing them out, and I think I need still 1.5s instead of 1.75s. I was gonna wait until I went to the eye doctor to test them out, but I've tested them out enough that I think I still need 1.5s, not 1.75s. So I'm gonna order two more of these. I haven't ordered them in probably two years or more. These are the ones that I wear in my bedroom. These are the Miklos. I think they're Miklos, hold on a second. Oh, these are the Porgies, the style. And these are the Miklos. Yeah, these are the Miklos. I don't love these as much. They're still cute. And they're different colors. See, like these are more blue. So these are the ones that I wear in my bedroom. And then I have my little reading glasses. A reading glass cleaner with it. And I have my pillow spray that I use every night. My lavender pillow spray. So anyway... That's about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I love you guys. Do you like me being more active over here or is it a nuisance? Let me know. I love you and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.